Good afternoon, people. Watch Women 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for our past, present, all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life that's the gospel it's believing strictly believing how do you come to that you admit you're a sinner in need of Christ you put your faith and trust in Christ you accept him as savior And you're saved. Simple as that. When you're saved, you're justified by the blood of Jesus. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. This is why I mentioned this yesterday. This is why. And this is what completely uh, turned me around. I think that was the last straw for me with the Pentecostal movement when they said that Christians can be uh, demon possessed. That's not true. Not at all. Because like I said yesterday, Romans 8, 1 talks about there is there for no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who have been called according to his will. And everybody who has who is saved is called and everybody who's not is called. It's up to them to believe. Period. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit will change you. He is your best friend. Period. Now, remember what's coming. The Great Tribulation. We're on the cusp of the Great Tribulation. But the church is on the cusp of the Rapture. This article <clears throat> just came out. MasterCard is plotting a new technology that lets shoppers make payments with just their face or hand at the checkout point. So, you know, if they're starting this now, yeah, we know what's coming. The company uh, on Tuesday launched a program for retailers to offer biometric payment methods. We all know what that means. Biometric payment methods. Now, you know what that means. Like facial recognition and fingerprint scanning. At checkouts, at the checkout, users will be able to authenticate their payment by showing their face or the palm of their hand. The palm of their hand or their face instead of swiping their card. The program has already gone live in uh, five St. Marsh grocery stores in uh, Brazil. Interesting. MasterCard says it's plans to roll it out globally this year. This year. Makes me think the rapture is definitely this year. Yeah, I said that. That makes me feel and think that the rapture is going to be this year. All the research that we've done has told us that consumers love biometrics. Uh, Al J. Bala, MasterCard's president of cyber and intelligence, told CNNBC. They want making a payment at a store <clears throat> to be as convenient as opening their phone. Look. <laughs> I use Apple Pay. I pay with my phone because it's convenient. 
I know what's coming. I know what it all is. Unfortunately, you can't, you know, I mean, you're not going to have cash on you all the time. This is what's coming. This is already here. It's already here. Is it convenient? Yeah, it's convenient. But this is going to be implemented even more because don't forget, they're not going to have cash during the tribulation. Cash is going to be gone. And they're already setting that up right now. They want making a payment at a store as convenient as using opening their phone. About 1.4 billion people are expected to use facial recognition technology to authenticate a payment by 2025. Hmm. I keep hearing that year. So if the rapture happens this year, what is that? Let me see. This is 2022, right? 2022, 23, 24, 25. Oh, yeah, that's three years. Maybe two and a half. Maybe three and a half. More than doubling from 671 million in 2020, according to a forecast from Juniper Research. How does it work? To sign up on MasterCard, you take a picture of your face or scan your fingerprint, register it with the app. This is done either on your smartphone or at the payment terminal. You can add a credit card, which gets linked to your biometric data. It's similar to tech that's being trailed by Amazon in the U.S. MasterCard says it plans to bring the program to the U.S., Europe, the Middle East, and Asia at a later date. In the long run, <clears throat> MasterCard's... Um, MasterCard's vision is to make tech, make the tech globally interoperable, they said. So once you've stored your credentials, you could use it anywhere. Do people really want this? I mean, we know what this is. We know what this is. This is the beginning of the mark of the beast. Of course, it is. The future could integrate and uh, with loyalty schemes and make person uh, personalized recommendations based on previous purchases, MasterCard says. Is it safe? The use of biometric information for payments raises a host of concerns around privacy and how the data gets collected. For its part, MasterCard says all the data customers enter into the system is encrypted in such a way that ensures their privacy isn't compromised. When you enroll your face or fingerprint scan, when you enroll, your face or fingerprint scan is replaced with a token, a random string of alphanumeric characters is then linked to your payment card. MasterCard said it has created a set of standards to ensure users' data is protected. I find that very hard to believe. The company is working with several other firms to launch the feature, including uh, Fujitsu, NEC, Payface, Arius, PayByFace, and PopID. MasterCard's biometric tools could one day help with the development, listen to this, one day help with the development of payment infrastructure for Metaverse, according to the head of MasterCard. The Metaverse refers to hypoth uh, hypothetical virtual world where users can work, trade, or socialize. The term has attracted lots of buzz, has attracted lots of buzz and talk in Silicon Valley, thanks to Facebook's rebrand to Meta last year. At a media briefing in London, MasterCard showed off an argumented reality headset with uh, that warns the wearer 
if they are if they're on a potentially fraudulent e-commerce site another feature the firm is experimenting with allows users to select and buy items at a virtual store using nothing but their eyes these products are further are farther from reality to MasterCard's biometric checkout service, but gives a flavor of what to expect in the future. Bala said people could eventually try on some clothes uh, virtually before buying or link their non-fungible um, tokens, digital assets. Folks, I'm gonna link this in the description box. This is nothing but Satan. Put it point blank, nothing but Satan. I still carry cash and I still use it but I also have a MasterCard I do use that but this is crazy this is insane and this tells me when I read this it tells me we are on the very cusp of the rapture of being zapped out of here in a matter of time this is it right here this is it um, and of course, if MasterCard is doing this, Visa is going to follow. Your debit cards are going to follow because it's all going to be in the same, t same circle. So that's where we are right now. That's exactly where we are. You know, will this stop you from, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean... Now, let me, let me say this, because a lot of people are going to go nuts with this. I know that. Will this stop you from ever using your credit card while you're here right now on this earth? No. I mean, this is, nothing's going to happen to you if you use your card right now. This is what's coming, and it's probably the technology sounds like it's already here. Period. But if they're, I bought the story out to show you how advanced. And, and the Bible talks about knowledge will increase in the latter days. And we are here already. So if we're this close to this, we're much closer to the rapture of the church. Now, again, will that stop you from using your card? No, it's not going to stop me. <laughs> Especially when I'm at the store, which is my second earthly home until I leave. My third earthly home is Ulta. So, and women, you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to link this in the description box and I will be back later if anything else comes up. But I will be back. Thank you. Oh, happy Memorial Day. And thank you.